Hi, my name is Christine, and I am visiting faculty at the Crane School of Music and a freelance clarinetist. Um, for the last year or so, I've been in the market for a shorter barrel uh, to help with intonation. Today, I will be going through my process of selecting a barrel. Hi, I'm Miles DeCastro. Uh, I am the instrument repair technician at the Crane School of Music, and I also own a clarinet shop called North Country Winds. And uh, Christine mentioned that she's been looking for a new barrel, so I brought her all the barrels, um, pretty much every barrel that I have in stock um, in the um, sizes that she was interested in. And so she's going to try them all out. Um, I'll share the differences in them and uh, what sets them apart from each other, and hopefully we can find a winner out of the bunch. So the criteria that Miles and I discussed for when we're searching for uh, new equipment or in this case, specifically a barrel, is uh, sound, intonation, homogeneity between the registers. Is that a word? Homogeneity? It is now. <laughs> Sounds good. Homogeneity. Um, <laughs> if two people use a word, it's a word. <laughs> Articulation, um, response, and how it feels. I developed a standardized play test for the first round to listen for the criteria that we named previously. Each barrel uh, will be tested with the same repertoire. The latest offering from Bakun is the Lumiere barrel, which is prized for its rich, resonant sound. It's available in Grenadilla and Cocobolo wood and works equally well on B flat and A clarinets. I really like the Lumiere. Um, but there's something about the notes in some of the registers, uh, particularly the lower clarion, that just feel really stuffy uh, compared to the rest of them. This one I really enjoyed. Um, it had a much more homogeneous quality I found than the Cocobola. The new traditional barrel has a very focused sound, which makes it quite popular amongst soloists and chamber musicians. It's available in either Grenadilla or Cocobolo wood and is designed to work on both B flat and A clarinets. At $147, it is the least expensive barrel that Bakun makes. tradition Cocobolo, I found that I didn't really have to work so hard to get a really focused sound, and I can put a lot of air through the instrument without worrying about the sound becoming spread, which I really enjoyed. I'm not sure that I'm 100% sold on the quality of the sound that I'm getting, but there's definitely some good stuff here. I like this a lot on my A clarinet. Uh, it gives it a focus and a lightness that I don't think I'm normally able to achieve with the standard barrel. the 
color and the ease of response with this one. There's still something about this one, um, the Cocobolo, that I feel like I'm not quite getting the homogenous sound that I would like um, as effortlessly as I would like to. Boy is Bakun's most versatile and best-selling barrel. It's very popular with musicians who play a wide range of musical styles but don't want to switch barrels for different gigs. It's available in Grenadilla and Cocobolo wood. It's designed to work on both B-flat and A clarinet and its price is $189. that comes with this barrel, but I think it may be a little bit brighter in some registers than, than what I'm really looking for. said I really love the way this plays on the A clarinet and the flexibility and color that I'm getting. I really liked the Fat Boy Cocobolo. Um, I thought it had great articulation. I liked the feel of it and it had a easy and homogenous sound across registers. I also really liked playing it on the A clarinet. I felt it gave me a flexibility that I don't normally find I have. similarly to this one as I did with the other uh, Fat Boy um, in Cocobolo, but I really love this one on the A clarinet in particular.
Mobile Barrel is prized for its dark, full-bodied orchestral sound. A collaboration between Maury Bakun and Ricardo Morales, this barrel is available in Grenadilla and Cocobola wood and is designed to work on both B-flat and A clarinet. Effortlessly, the sound is just homogenous across registers. Um, it's got a really nice core, and I don't really have to work very hard at all to achieve the sound that I'm looking for. There's a really great clarity to the sound. Um, I can put a lot of air through it without worrying about it spreading, but it's still somewhat flexible, easy to articulate. I really like this one. This one is great also. Um, I feel very similarly about the Cocobolo MOBA and the Grenadilla MOBA. Um, I think this one might be a little more homogenous in tone quality and I think it's probably the length that I'm looking for overall. Icon barrel is about 30% lighter than a standard buffet barrel, giving it a responsive, well-defined sound. It is available in Grenadilla wood with either gold-plated, silver-plated, or black nickel-plated rigs, and it is designed to work for both B-flat and A clarinets. hear a difference between these and the stock barrels that come with the buffets. Um, I'm not entirely sure that the difference that I'm hearing is the direction that I want to go. Um, I would like to be able to put more air through without worrying about the sound necessarily uh, spreading um, or having to work too hard to control it.
think that um, the barrels that I've tended to prefer have generally been heavier, um, and these Buffet Icon barrels are designed to be 30% lighter than uh, the stock barrels, and I think that's probably where part of my uh, disconnect with these barrels is coming from. Um, it's nothing against them, it's just not, the lightness of it is not something that I uh, typically have found that I prefer. I'm going to take back my previous statement. I really enjoy playing this one. Um, so I'm definitely going to revisit it and check it out a little more. Huge thank you to Miles at North Country Winds for the barrels and for all the information um, and helping to create this, this video. Uh, go check them out at northcountrywinds.com and we'll see you next time for part two.